Cool. Well, <laughs> earlier, uh, earlier, I, I was kind of hoping you'd show up earlier whenever there was. We actually had a decent crowd. Yeah, earlier, she was saying it? she couldn't find yeah. a seat. <laughs> yeah, it was, and then all of a sudden, just as like, as it came, it, it just went. It just went. But uh, that's okay. I mean, we have a good atmosphere here, and a, we got a good view still. So yeah, and we'll capitalize on that. Sure. Perfect. Wait, you want me to? Just... Yeah. Okay. Ahead, so, um, boo, boo. Oh, beer with boo. <laughs> but no beer yet. <laughs> but no beer yet. Beer, no salmon, that whole thing. Okay, so we are here um, on location today oh. from Boo Bar. Oh. And we are having beer with Boo, Jose, Boo, Hi. owner. And we're just going to sit around talking. Um, the Malecon just opened on Wednesday, right? Correct. On Wednesday? Okay. Correct. Um, so that's why we decided to be here on location, and we're going to just ask them some questions. So, um, awesome. how's it been since, first of all, um, I guess we can say, um, I'm glad you guys were closed during the whole, um, I guess just lockdown. The pandemic, yeah. the pandemic uh -huh. or tough restrictions that yeah. the city had, or whatever, yeah, yeah. So, our last day open was the 19th of March. And then we ended up opening back up on the 18th of, of June, so it was almost three months for us, and it was it was a pretty hard three months, and and uh, yeah, we're glad to be here though for sure, for sure. Yeah, and how did um, you guys kept all your employees? Obviously, they're all still here. That's great. Correct. So Correct. that was great that yeah. you were able to sustain that. Um, for sure, and they're happy to be back for, for yeah. sure. Also, yeah, but, so, I bet yeah. so. Since Wednesday, you always opened on the 18th, but the Malecon opened on Wednesday. Um, how has the crowd been? How was last weekend? It was Father's Day. It was supposed to be a little busy, right? But how yeah. did you guys notice? Yeah, it's, it's you know, and I want to say something first is, is when, whenever, uh, um, whenever us locals refer to the, to the area as a Malecon, we, we think the boardwalk, uh, the Plaza de los Gobernadores, and that's how we refer to it as. But a lot of Americans refer to the Malecon as the whole area, including restaurants and bars. Yeah. So I know like on social media here uh, last week, whenever <laughs> people said, oh, the Malecon is just gonna open, they're like, well, hold on, wasn't, you know, we were just at the Blue Bar last week. Yeah. <laughs> so so there was a little bit of a, of a translation barrier, I guess there, so to speak. But um, last week in our first week in open, it, it, was, it was good for what it was. Um, typically, this is our. We're starting. We're going towards the end of our our high season, anyways. Um, so the weekdays um, are usually pretty low. And then by now, we're always opening up only on the weekends, anyways. So so we just kind of picked off right where we would have left off, anyways. We were left just off. opening on the weekends. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my staff is happy to be back. And last week we had a, a lot of uh, a really good clientele. So, so they're really supportive of every business down here, not just ours. Yeah. And it was a really good feeling overall. It was a good, positive vibe from everybody. So that was that was really good. Well, cheers, cheers. to your opening. Well, cheers, cheers opening. to you guys. Thank you for and taking thank the you time. For coming in. And as always, I mean, this beautiful view, you can't beat it. And uh, great customers over there. Uh, I know we have a couple over there. Todd. Uh, hi, Sally. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, it's always a pleasure seeing you guys. As so, well. thank so you. It's uh, was it hard to get back open? A lot of things you had to jump. Um, in. we had uh, certain protocols that we had to abide by, of course, per um, city regulations. And at the end of the day, it's uh, I'm not it, it, I'm in agreement with all of them. Um, we had to, for example, we had to get our place sanitized. Um, so that was step one: is getting our place sanitized. And um, I don't know if I can mention the name or not, but a really good yeah, friend of mine, actually yeah, uh, Julie's, Julie's brother Pizza <laughs> from Clean, he uh, he's been our exterminator here as a slash sanitizer now for for a couple of years, and he did a great job. Aside from that, uh, Protección Civil, they require us to have certain signs up in a location at certain points. We have to have regular um, sanitization stations where uh, where there's uh, antibacterial gel at the beginning of the place, also on several other stations within the place. And then, um, let's see, what else did we have to do? Of did course, we have to class? wear, correct. We took our class with the firefighters and then um, a staff throughout, they have to wear their mask. Um, customers as well, they have to come in wearing a mask. 
once they're seated, they can take their mask off then and enjoy their beverages or enjoy lunch, dinner, whatever they're gonna, uh, whatever they wanna enjoy. Um, and per protocol, as soon as they get up, whether it's to go to the restroom, whether it's to chit chat with, with some friends they have at the other table, they're supposed to technically be wearing their mask oh, as well. And again, that's, that's to protect all of us. Um, you know, to protect staff and as well as customers, customers as well. Yeah. And it's also giving you a, an opportunity for additional marketing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Face mask. Correct. So, um, <laughs> that up. of course, <laughs> uh, of course, we we're we're in total agreement and we're in total compliance with, and we want to keep everybody safe also. So. Um, and what better way to, you know, slap our name on a face mask also. Uh, they're washable, uh, they're made out of polyester, and you gotta come get one for six bucks, it's cheap. It's seen on TV, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. So they've been working out really good. And again, it's 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 all in the name of safety also. So. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, and that's uh, that's still here. I mean, those are stuff that, that we're not gonna go away. We're not gonna let this, this pandemic uh, get the best of us. This is a very strong town. It's a very close knit community. And this isn't going to get us down. Yeah. It's not going to get us down. And that's a good point. You said people that love that love it and want to come down. And I've had a lot of people. Um, we've all had a lot of inquiries lately of people that never been here and now they want to come. Um, I don't know if it's situation in the states that is making them want to like explore more of Mexico. But you, hey, like you're saying, even though we can't get in the water, just the view is just beautiful. Yeah, we still I mean, have the same vibe. yes. We still have the same, uh -huh. you know, everybody's happy. Everybody's welcoming. Everybody's, you know, I mean, it's the yeah. same. It's the same feeling. Yeah. And that's a good point. The vibe, exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, it. And, and think. I want to thank you guys and everybody else out there who has really who has really emphasized that about town, who has kept positive throughout all this, because it's hard. No yeah. doubt, it's, it's super hard to stay positive. It's, it's hard to keep that going, but this is what's gonna get us closer, and we have to get over this together. Yeah. And keep that positive attitude going, regardless of how down we may feel. We have to keep hammering exactly, that down. Exactly, yeah. And those negative people, hey, they can just sit in the back Yeah. <laughs> They can miss out on all of this while we enjoy it, right? Exactly, yep, yep. <laughs> <they want> it. <laughs> Cheers to that, correct. Cheers to that. <laughs> Cheers, Kyle. There's a lot, there, is, there are a lot of things. Also. Yeah, there's still a lot of things. And what is, um, so I know you guys are um, usually one of the main places for like Roger Klein, um, for Circus Mexicus, and you guys always have different concerts and things. I know right now, what are the regulations or rules, or when do you guys think you guys will be starting to host concerts and things like that again? Yeah, you know, um, I don't really know. They haven't given us a definite date on that. But yeah, we've been doing live music here since 2007. And we even had a we even had a plastic pool up there on our stage one time where we had a baby oil wrestling tournament <laughs> years ago. I don't know if anybody out there remembers that, but um, but it was quite a memory. <laughs> but as far as the live music goes, we haven't heard anything because even the the boats, for example, they're also waiting on some of those little things to change as well. Yeah. They also need their. Uh, I know some of those boats have live music out there, so they need that that same vibe to come back. And um, we haven't heard anything yet. We're just right now, honestly, we're just so happy that they gave us the opportunity to open up. So for now, that feels good. And, and for now, that's something we want to concentrate on is one step at a time. Yeah. Uh, my staff is happy. And everybody up and down the street that I've talked to, everybody's now come back. It's weird because they come back now with a whole different vibe. They're, they're positive. There's, and, and, and granted, just like every other place, there's always arguments and stuff down there. I didn't feel that this time back, this time back around. I didn't feel any of that. I felt like really everybody was happy to be I'm back. Happy. And regardless if if you and I got in a fight last week, I'm happy to see you. And, and that's that it feels it feels really good. It's a really good vibe here, here in the Malacon area for sure. Um, I got a fine down there that I I still got the fine. I was the very first one to get fined. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't matter who was, you are, you get a fine. Yeah, that's a good, yeah. that's a good thing to share. You yeah. Know, yeah. Get a fine if they don't. Yeah. yeah. That was the, that was the very first fine that they gave. That was 400 pesos, and and you know the machine wasn't working. 
and I showed the police officer it wasn't working. I was like, fine, you know what, I'll pay it. But I, 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 but let me show you it wasn't working. I put in five pesos, and they gave me like an hour. I'm like, look, see, it's not working. I mean, it gave me a whole hour. I mean, how can five pesos give me an hour? <laughs> so anyways, I ended up paying it, and it was like, yeah, we just let bygones be bygones after yeah. that. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it's, as an owner, what do you think? We were having this conversation on the way over here about the meters. As an owner of a you know, location down here, what do you, how, yeah. Wow, well, do I want to get lynched by the tourists? <laughs> Or do I want to get lynched by the locals? <laughs> Who do I want to get lynched by? Because there is no, there is no easy answer. Um, I, I, I believe in the, the meters, and this is why. Because whenever I would show up here and park up there where my staff parks two blocks up the road, the parking spots were always taken by the vendors here. So that alleviated all of that stuff. Now the bad thing is, is uh, our tourists, our customers aren't used to paying. Yeah. So that'll come with time, and hopefully they'll see that if they're going to be here two hours, it's a lot cheaper to pay two hours worth of time on the meter than it is to five, pay the five dollars at the parking. So there's a different way to look at things. Um, granted, if you're going to be here for, you know, if you're going to be in, here in the Malacan area all day, well, then the five-dollar parking is for you. It's 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 a lot cheaper for you, and it's it's convenience. Uh, I'm not sure if they have security there, though, but I think I think I, they do. Yeah, I think yeah. yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I think I think they do. So that's always a plus, also. So yeah. it just depends on what your purpose is and how long your purpose down here is going to be. But yeah, I won't say I'm in favor of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just did two hours. We're like, let's just do two hours for sure. So we gathered all our change and fed it. So. <laughs> Dug underneath the rugs and the floorboard. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the change. So, yeah. But hey, um, like there's always two sides to everything, like you were saying. So, um, so again, tell us um, the, the history of, um, of Boo Bar. You said it, when it started, when you opened. When did you, was it open before you joined or no. you started it when you were one of the no. originals? Randy Gahan started it in March of 2006 and I started okay. here in May of 2006. Oh, so okay. it had been open two months uh, when I started. So not that's kind of what it was and, and that's kind of how I slipped into the whole deal. And, and um, I owe him a lot and I thank him a lot for giving me the opportunity. And then Scott came into the picture about a year later and uh, by then, Randy was gone, and it was just Scott and I. And Scott and I maintained the Boo Bar for 11 years. Awesome. He is a Tucson guy. Um, he lived up in Tucson the whole time. And basically, he was my go-to guy for, uh, he's a total numbers guy. And he was a guy that can I can send information, and he can send it back to me in a language that I can understand. It may be first grade language, but uh, <laughs> but I can understand it when he sent yeah. it back to me. Exactly. So you've so. always been the main hands-on, on the ground guy, then. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. Um, I've got some guys here that have been here working with me for five, six, seven years. Um, other guys have been working here with me for a couple months, um, but I have a, I feel like the staff that I have now is the best staff that I've had in 14 years. And I say that with all the sincerity in the world. Um, I don't know if they're listening to me now, but <laughs> I'm in todo volados. <laughs> but that's that's the reality. We've endured a lot of, like I said earlier, a lot of roller coasters. It's been it's been a lot of flip flops. Certain employees, blah blah blah, back and forth, as every business goes through. Yeah. Um, but this is this is probably the best. Although what's going on, all the negativity, this is probably the best situation I've been in. Despite in, in the fortune years. Nice. The fortune years. So. Wow. And again, always looking at the positive. And, and I, I consider myself a positive person, always looking at even the turn the negative. Ah, there, even in the negative, there's something positive yeah. in it. So it's just a matter of finding that and, and grabbing onto that. And then I don't, there's, there's no room in my life for negativity. And That's I don't awesome. want that shit and anywhere. And that reflects in all of this, obviously, yeah. you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. And I surround great. myself with good people all the time also. So that's always a big plus so, there as well. So, great. Yeah. Would well, you guys have any more questions? Yeah. Any other questions? I want to thank you for your yes. time. Yes. We, are, we love Blue Bar. We're happy to be back here. We started good as always. Well, thank you. Thank you for thank taking you. the time thank to you. sit down with us. And yeah, I wasn't joking. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. <laughs> 
No, thank you guys for coming in. Eso, así me gusta. No, thank you guys really and and, and everything you do for town also. And thank you. I hope that everybody, every other business also opens their doors and opens up their arms to you guys as, as hopefully we have here as well. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Salud. 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 <laughs>